Hello, I'm JP Fogbuck and welcome to my Tesla Musings. About a year ago, Tesla had a software upgrade notice which mentioned that the BMS, the battery management system, would optimize the battery temperature when we navigate to a supercharger. Most of us have seen a difference, but what's really the temperature difference of navigating to a supercharger versus not doing so? This episode looks into this. The data is based on two test drives done driving the same route with and without active navigation to the superchargers. These test drives were done in my 2017 Model S 75D with the software version 2020.12.5. The battery was not heated by recent charging activity before the trip started. The outside temperature at departure was 4.5 and 9.5 degrees Celsius, which is 40 and 49 Fahrenheit. Data was collected using video cameras, teslafi.com, and the Scan My Tesla beta app for iPhone. Teslafi can be tested for free for a full month if you use my referral code in the description below. The test drive with navigation to supercharger started with one degree colder battery than the other drive. Traveling to the near supercharger was just 20 minutes. That was not enough to get the battery really warm. The battery cell temperature increased though 5 degrees more when the navigation was active to the supercharger. The next supercharger was another 50 minutes away. During the last 10 minutes of the increase in temperature, it was quite pronounced on the way up to 30 degrees Celsius, which is 86 Fahrenheit. This seems to be BMS in my car's favorite charging temperature. To get to 30 degrees Celsius without navigating to a supercharger, it took 1 hour and 45 minutes, so there's a clear difference. In the next video, I'll look into where the sweet point is, how far we have to drive to get the battery pack warm enough when navigating to the supercharger. If you like this video, please press like. Please also subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to make sure to get the next installment in this series.